Sir, generally, what, what are our gains and losses in the privatization of electricity? Well, um, thank you very much. Um, in terms of the, the gains and losses, because in every process that you do, there will be successes, there will be failures. And I think in terms of the um, process of reforming the power sector that has been embarked upon um, by government, I will agree with me to a certain extent that it has been done with good intention and the gains are multifarious and numerous in the sense that we are the only country in the whole of Africa that has successfully transited the ownership of the um, generation distribution companies to the private sector. And the objective of actually doing that is to um, engender improvement in the performance of these companies ensure that um, we check the problems of lack of power 24-7 and so forth and so on. So basically, I would say one of the um, fundamental gains that has not fully crystallized, crystallized per se is that now we have been able, despite all the um, um, you know, obstacles and challenges, to transfer ownership um, to the private sector. And you, as you agree with me, the private sector are the key in terms of bringing about socio-economic development. Some of the um, drawbacks that um, you could, uh, we can attribute to that particular process is that we have not been able to reach the goals that we want, per se. Uh -huh, because and that, is, that is, I think, normal in any process that is complex and is very complicated. Why was the power sector in Nigeria privatized? Because you mentioned now that we are the only one who, have gone, who has gone through this particular transition from the public uh, in, Africa, in Africa to the private. So why was it privatized? Well, basically, um, if you look at the history of the um, power sector from the interesting history that you have narrated, you will you'll discover that at a particular point in terms of the development of that state utility and monopoly, it has reached a cul-de-sac in terms of its ability to deliver to the Nigerian people. And that is one of the fundamental reasons why a decision was taken to privatize the sector. For example, you will discover that as of the 1990s, up to the point of the 1990s, Nigeria was just generating about 1,700 megawatts. The state utility has used the apex of its um, uh, capacity to deliver. In terms of the um, transmission sector, which is also part of the value chain, you find that it was also in a state of disrepair. It had not been able to improve. There hasn't been any major projects in terms of now improving transmission, which is also critical to the sector. In terms of the distribution sector, you discover that the um, um, challenges are mounting. It's something that it can be experienced, the daily experience of people whereby brownouts that is black house with the daily um, uh, occurrences in, in the country and so forth and so on. So from the time that um, the um, civilian government came, in, came in, into power at, cert at a certain point, they now decided that, look, one of the strategies that should be adapted is to now reform that particular sector. And they set up a committee that came out with a policy document in 2001. And in that policy document, it recommended that, look, let us set up a regulatory regime let us unbundle the sector and eventually privatize it. And that is exactly what was done in terms of setting up, for instance, the regulator in 2005. And we eventually succeeded in privatizing the um, company between 2012 and 2013. That basically, to me, is the reason. Improve, power, improve, improve the performance of the power sector. So still, it's still a matter of goals, objective, intentions also now? Well, not really, because if you look at it critically, and that is what a lot of people don't know. If not because of the privatization of the generation segment of the sector, maybe the amount of power generated now will be lower than what you expected. But I think the... the and, now, and, and let me illustrate. Let me please illustrate in terms of the taking the generation sector of the country. We, we privatize six generation companies. And if you take... And I just want to take one as an example of how the private sector involvement has led to an improvement in that particular sector. Take, for instance, Ugeli Power Plant. It's somewhere in the southern part of the country. At the time when we privatized Ugeli, it was just doing 200 megawatts. 
Now, and when we privatized Igeli, we entered into a performance agreement with them that within the next five years, you should improve your generation capacity to 670 megawatts. At the time when I, before I left the BPE, and based on the studies that I have conducted, you discover that Ugeli power plant has been able to improve its generation capacity to 683 megawatts, which is an improvement of about 500 megawatts. The same applies to Egbing. At the time we privatized Egbing, they were just doing 600 megawatts. As of today, Egbing power plant is doing 1,320 megawatts. What the public has seen in terms of maybe lack of performance, which impacts directly on the public, well, that is the retail component of the business, is the distribution end.